Hi everybody, my name is Vodimir Milev and I'm working on data visualization components in Telerik. We are doing some pretty exciting... And I'm Todd Englund from Telerik, Telerik's Chief Evangelist, and I'm going to uh, be here with Vlad today as we take a look at Telerik's brand new WPF charting and gauges engine. And Vlad's actually from the product team working on this, so I'm going to let him drive the demos today. So Vlad, if you could, why don't you show us some of the cool stuff you're doing for WPF okay. and data visualization. Okay, let's start with the chart. It's a pretty standard uh, WPF uh, component. You see the animations, uh, rich styling. Uh, we got uh, most of the uh, regular chart types. We have financial charts, we have bubbles. You can see we're doing some uh, nice reflections and uh, with the visual brush here. Uh, we also have area charts and so on. It's uh, an interesting thing is uh, we are doing uh, a lot of uh, nice data binding to all kinds of uh, sources. Uh, so we've got this list here, we had array list, business objects, business all objects, that everything. It's uh, dynamic, it also supports uh, notification of updates from the data source and it's uh, updated real time. Uh, there's a lot of effort put into customization of this product. So, uh, for example, you see the bar chart, how it's now, but uh, you could easily swap out the template. So what you see here is actually standard WPF button controls uh, with their content property bound to the actual data point we're showing off in the chart. So you see it's uh, really a kind of a plug-and-play architecture. You can change appearance uh, very easily. We're also doing some efforts to uh, make all the main components of the chart pluggable. So we have uh, the legends, there are separate controls. We have the areas, uh, the titles, and so on. So we can easily, actually, this is, these are a couple of chart pieces placed in a standard OPF grid control and you can do all the layout yourself and it's real easy you can so you don't have to have a legend for every chart you have the flexibility of multiple charts and a single legend yes, and all that yes you can uh, actually bind uh, two or three chart areas to a chart and it, they talk to each other and uh, everything happens uh, we take care of everything uh, behind the scenes cool. so uh, you can also there's uh, rich uh, access uh, for example customization you can turn stuff off and on uh, Why don't you show us some of the cool uh, 3D? Some of the 3D actually is real cool. We have uh, real-time 3D, nice uh, lightning effects. Uh, um, we have uh, drawing labels in 2D. This is, this is the most natural way to perceive them. Uh, I love it when you rotate this. Watch yes. those labels. They stay readable. The, radios, the labels actually angle so they remain readable. Even this is, the uh, they, they actually follow the 3D positions and they if you spin it a little bit they disappear because they're no longer visible but they do stay 2D so it's re really easy to read them. Uh, we have some nice primitive 3D primitives here you can update in real time change their shape actually this is uh, a lot of effort as I said put into customization of the stuff uh, we have you can uh, pretty much uh, achieve any any kind of uh, shape uh, using the bar. We've got all the, the chart types for 3D as well, right? So we got area, stack oh, yes. area down here as yes, well. Yes, we, so you we, do we all got that all, that, all, all that stuff. You can go on, rotate, you can uh, uh, zoom in, uh, you can zoom out, uh, whatever. It's, uh, if you want to get really custom, right, you can even define your own models. Oh, yes. Uh, we have uh, here, we have an example of a star model exported from 3D Studio Max, uh, which is, uh, you just replace that and uh, the chart control takes care of uh, layout, transforms, and so on. You just place your model and it's uh, already working. Uh, so let's let's take one last look at the visualization. Let's just show them those those WPF gauges and, and show them what we got in there. As well. uh, we can we also doing some work with uh, gauge controls. Uh, these are pretty much standard gauge controls. You have uh, you can uh, change some uh, properties here, for example, and so on. It's pretty much a radio gauge. Uh, you see, you can change tick, offsets, counts. Uh, very customizable. Lengths, very customizable. There are some uh, cool demos uh, of those. You can have a thermometer, we can do with the linear gauge, you can even do some uh, frequency diagrams. And, uh, and you can change the theme and blend? Yes, you can change oh, cool. the theme and blend. It's uh, as customizable as silver white customization is actually supported right now in blend. Yeah, so the, the cool and thing here is that not yeah. only do these work 
in WPF, but we're also shipping these next week for Silverlight 2. So everything you see in the or in the gauges, you can do in Silverlight and as well. it's wow. actually shared code. Most of it is shared code, so uh, the API is the same across the board, and it will be easy for developers doing the WPF stuff. It will be easy for them to uh, shift to Silverlight and vice versa. So. It's awesome. pretty much uh, common. So that's common what we're doing in, uh, in our new WPF Silverlight visualization. Hope you guys like it and hope you enjoy the rest of the PDC updates. All right.